Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is up, guys? Kevin here from Fashion Boy Always. Uh, I'm doing a holiday pickups video, uh, just just for you. <laughs> You, you know how I like to take care of my baby boys. Oh! So I'm gonna be doing. Uh, I guess I should get the footwear out of uh, out of the way. <laughs> so first up, I have the Air Jordan One Yin Yang, the white ones. Um, I found these at a Nike clearance store. Um, Pick these up for I think it was seventy dollars, and I'd say it's a good like beater shoe. Um, I, I haven't worn it too many times, but time to make this uh, my beater shoe, and uh, it's uh, it's a pretty moist. Uh, the reason why I picked this particular pair up is because I really liked that red like Nike Air at the center. Like I think it really does make the shoe because like without it, then it look too bland and too boring. Um, and I'm just a big fan of the silhouette. I do wish the leather quality was a bit better overall. Um, the leather is pretty stiff almost everywhere except for, oddly, it's like this back little heel area that actually has like the better leather. Um, but the rest of it's pretty standard Air Jordan 1 like GR leather. It's not any like remastered or anything like that. So. Yeah, this was uh, this was 70 bucks, and it's a good beater shoe. I mean, what can I say? Next up, I picked up one of my grails that I had when it first released, but I bought the wrong size, and then I had to sell it. I got this for under retail. I got this in, so this is the Kith Puma Sakura collection. It is their low. Here it is. I wore it a few times already. I really do like it. The suede quality on this is fucking phenomenal. I just love the fade from like this like beet red into like this like cream slash like pink. And it just has so many like small details. I think this is the last like Kip collab that I like really, really enjoyed. Cause this also came with um, some pieces from John Elliott and it, it, it released with like some Mercer like bottoms and like some crews and stuff like that. And it's just like the quality and like the attention to detail that I really do like. Like all of the paneling is like a different color. Like that's what I think is like crazy. Cause like the Puma stripe is a different color and a different like nap than like the rest of it. Same with like the B red, that's completely different. It came with these cream rope laces with the copper tips. Um, came with all this nice like decorative um, paper. And I also got this for under retail. Um, Definitely, definitely look at StockX and see if like some of your OG favorite pairs are like on sale. It came with two extra laces, one that is oddly reminiscent of the Kith, um, the Aspen Ultra Boost Mids, oddly reminiscent of that. Um, and it came with just like flat white laces that I've never actually used. And yeah, it's just, this is such a nice silhouette and like the leather quality inside is A1. The quilted insole is extremely nice. So if you guys do have a chance, definitely pick this up. They have not been going for a lot at all. Um, they've been going, yeah, like I said, they were going under retail. So if you guys do want to pick this pair up, definitely check on StockX or check on Grail because I think I saw a few on Grail as well. So here is one of the pairs that I decided to keep. So I essentially, so I got a size eight in this and then I had to sell it because this fits so fucking small. This is the Nike Vapor, uh, I think it was like the Zoom Vapor Fly. Yeah, it was the Zoom Fly. It was the Zoom Fly. Such a nice silhouette. It's super nice. I did wear this a fuck ton because um, this was one of the only pairs of shoes that I took home with me. And this has quickly become like one of my beater shoes. Um, like funny enough, this is one of the more expensive pairs that I decided to keep. Uh, I did fuck this pair up. Like I spilled coffee on it and then I was like dying my lunar forces. Let me get those out. So right now I'm in the process of drying my lunar forces. So I was in the process of dying these and I didn't realize that my socks were also sort of dirty with a little bit of dye and then there's like some dye all the way over here and some like coffee stains. But like this is, this is probably gonna be a pair that I'm gonna keep until I run it into the ground. Um, 
Yeah, it's just a very nice silhouette. The only thing that I kind of wish this had is that it wasn't fully translucent, at least the toe area. Like I think like it would have been extremely nice if they did um, this like the 97s, where the 97 is a very frosted tip, so you can't really see through it. It's more of like an opaque, like an eggshell white, rather than this translucent um, top, because the translucency, it, it does look nice and it does go with the theme of like the revealing thing, but it's just, it's very, it's very porous and it can absorb anything. Like it can absorb all the material. So I'm gonna have to try to get these stains out. And this is such a bitch to clean because of all like the inner paneling. So it looks nice, but in all honesty, I probably wouldn't recommend uh, people picking this up or at least paying exorbitant exorbitant amounts of money um, to pick this up because I basically got this for under retail since I sold mine and then I got this for cheaper than when I sold it. So I basically got this for, for under retail and um, it's a very nice silhouette. Definitely size up at least half a size. I went a full size up uh, This because this is a size nine. This came with the white laces with the green tips I think it came with black laces with the orange tips, which they are different sizes, by the way. The white tips or the white laces, I think, are a little bit shorter than the black ones. Um, and it came with like normal like racing um, laces as well. So if you guys do want to wear it more sporty, you guys can do that. So that was the Zoo Fly. That's been basically my beater shoe. And I mentioned this, but here is my dyed Lunar Force. It's still in the process of drying because um, essentially when you dye this, you have to go through multiple washes um, so that the, uh, the dye doesn't stain your socks. So this is probably my fourth wash and I think this is going to be my last wash. I made it a bit kind of like a very, very dark purple almost. Uh, cause the black does wash away into being this like very, very dark purple slash an indigo color. I do think it came out pretty decently. Uh, comment down below what you guys think. I am making a video about this. I wasn't able to record every single process that I did, but I can thoroughly explain everything that I did. Uh, this back tab is actually my favorite part cause it does look like, um, almost like a rusted metal. If you guys have played CSGO, it looks like case hardened almost, except it's not like in that rainbow. It's more of like a dark, like it's like a stained. Um, and I think it looks nice. Uh, it's still still drying though. Next up, I talked about this on my Instagram. Follow me at kevin.img. This is the Soulland Dunk Pro Low. Ah! Dunk Pro Low, I think this is one of Nike's best shoes of 2017. I definitely think this is like top 10. Um, this is an extremely nice shoe, extremely slept on. I think it's still in stock in some uh, stores as well as I think last time I checked, it was in stock in Nike. Um, I'll put all the links to buy um, almost everything down in the description below. So let me just give you guys a quick rundown. So basically the mid panel, they stripped it of the swoosh they made it a mesh porous material. They made the toe box a nice tumbled leather with this mud guard having a very, very supple suede. Same with the back wing as well. They deconstructed it so it's a lot thinner than your traditional Nike Dunk because your traditional Nike Dunk would have a lot of plush material here just for cushion. But they made this more of like a lifestyle sneaker. Same with the high top. I also have the high tops coming in so I will be doing a more in-depth I guess, video slash review on the collection. Um, so I have the low top and the high top is also coming in. They're fucking amazing. I'll show like a picture of the high top somewhere on the screen. Uh, a lot of people like the high top more than the low top. I'm pretty split because I love the, like, the silhouette and the model and the materials of the low top, but I do think the high top had a little bit more thought put into it, but the low top is definitely nice with this embroidered swoosh, it's just, Oh, and it came with, well, the flat laces, it's laced up with the flat laces, but it also came with the OG, like, thick, round um, Nike SB laces. Um, if you guys are any of 
You guys are old SB heads, you guys remember that. Well, okay, like I already did talk about the Lunar Forces, but here is my dead stock pair. Dead stock pair of whites, so you can see what the fuck happened to my shoes. So, you can see that there is a huge difference between the dead stock pair and the pair that I dyed, obviously. Um, I do think it looks really nice. Uh, so, I feel like the dyed pair is heavier. Or it's probably because it's still like a little bit wet, but this is actually extremely light compared to like my dyed pair. The dyed pair has some weight to it, but I'm assuming that, you know, like with it drying, it'll it'll lighten up at least a little bit. I do recommend you guys pick this up though. This is an extremely nice silhouette. It's very functional with its zipper, but I do think some people kind of over exaggerate the functionality. Yeah, it's cool that it has a zipper, you can zip on, zip off, but you know, like don't fucking like jerk yourself off because uh, this has no waterproofing. Um, it just looks cool. And if Aerosmith made it, all the tech boys are gonna buy it. So if you guys, do want a pair, StockX has a bunch of pairs, they aren't going for too much. Check out your Grail. Um, I think some stores still might have. Yeah, don't you love it when uh, you literally did your entire, you know, video and uh, your camera ran out of battery. Mm, ran out of battery, wow. That was great, Kevin. So, um, I was talking about uh, the Lunar Force ones. Yeah, I'll leave it in the description if I did find any um, pairs for retail. I'll link it in the description and where to get any of these products if they are still in stock. Next up is Dick Ovens, uh, Big Bubbins, uh, Tech Runners. Hey, uh, your boy finally got some. Uh... No? It's the working out is modern couture. Wow! So yeah, I got um, arguably the best colorway of the Tech Runner right next to the all cream one. I got it from my friend Andy for a pretty damn good price. Pretty damn good condition. Uh, he only wore it a handful of times and you can tell because there's literally like no wear on the sneakers itself. He also included <laughs> um, Talk shit post fit. Uh, tote bag, he also included the OG Dark Shadow bag. I believe he bought it um, at the Rick Owens store in Asia somewhere. Um, don't hold me to that, but yeah, he included the OG box and everything. It was a glorious time. And then I have uh, the Yeezys. I have the blue tint Yeezys. I sold my last Beluga. Uh, here's the blue tint. I might keep the blue tints. Um, I have an Instagram poll going on right now whether or not I should keep them. I'm still on the fence right now. It's just, like this is probably the cleanest uh, V2 that I have seen in a long ass time. Um, and But I do think that V2s are getting a bit played out and they are kind of getting boring. And it seems like everybody and their mom has their V2, so I might just sell this off and get another pair of Rick Owens shit. Um, but yeah, uh, go to my Instagram and uh, vote whether or not I should keep these. Uh, seems like most people aren't feeling Yeezys anymore, so most of them voted no. So now let's get into apparel. So, here is the Gorilla Group jacket. It is their new jacket. This is a collaboration. So, I have the review for this coming soon. It's a very good jacket. It's a very um, nice jacket. I do think it's worth the price, but I'll go more into depth on why and I'll put up like different fits, etc. about this. And yeah, this should go up in like a week or so. So stay tuned for that. I picked up Carhartt Relaxed Fit uh, Cargos. I'm gonna try to mess with this silhouette. I'm gonna see how everything plays out. See if it fits all right. I'm trying to go for a more like military vibe for, for this. Um, but I'll see how this ends up. Uh, it, it has ripstop, so. All you tech boys, mmm, oh. I got a bunch of fucking fleece. Uh, so I got Ronin Division fleece hoodie in this off-white top colorway. Uh, it's very nice, very soft. Uh, this is actually a pre-order from like months back and I got it in a few weeks ago, but I was on vacation. Uh, it's just a very nice like soft fleece hoodie. Uh, 
You can't really go wrong with it. And let me let me do the hidden characters. So the hidden characters, Fleece, Navidad, um, Crew Neck. I definitely think you guys should check out Hidden Characters. They are one of my favorite brands of all time, even though they are so small and so hidden. I think that's what kind of allure or kind of brings me to them because like they're so small, they're very tight knit, and like Nico's such an awesome dude. He's just like really busting out awesome stuff. And this color is amazing. I wasn't able to get the cell hoodie, but I'm gonna see if I can get it for resale on Grail. Uh, I'm, you know, like I'm willing to fork over that much. Their Henny hoodie is extremely nice as well, but that also sold out. So I'll put their Instagram and their website in the description below. And here is, I guess, my last pickup, right? Yeah, I think this is my last pickup for the video. It is the Nike ACG Fall Winter 17 Cargos in the stucco or the stucco, the like sage green almost looking. Pair. Um, I'm a big fan of this uh, cargo versus the Spring Summer 17 because one, I like the materials on this. It's very cold to the touch and it has this very nice like, it just has a very nice feel to it. I do like the button as well. It's more of like a lock button where you kind of push it into place and then you kind of move it apart to lock it into place. You button it and you can't really take it apart unless you push back, and then you unbutton. I think it's a really cool addition to it. Um, I am gonna get this tapered a little bit because I'm about a size 30 and I got a size small. I don't like how the bottom fits. Like, I want to get it a bit skinnier towards the bottom. And I also think this little cuff thing is kind of useless, so I'm fine with, like, you know, taking that out if it doesn't mean a tighter fit. I might tighten it to, like, a five and a half inch opening. Um, before I post any real fit pics for it. Uh, but yeah, uh, so far I really like this. Um, I'm a huge fan. And yeah, um, I didn't pick up the Alpine, um, partially because, well, one, it hasn't dropped still on, on Nike US. Uh, if it has, comment down below. Because um, it only dropped that weird, like, weird paneled olive um, Alpine, which I'm not really feeling. Uh, the 3-in-1 dropped. I wasn't a huge fan of that. It's very plain, very boring. I feel like I could get it anywhere. Um, it wasn't that big of a pull for me to get. The only one that I'm kind of iffy on is the Barely Green, but it's still 600 for the Alpine. And I don't want to fork up that much for a jacket that doesn't even fit that amazing. Um, but yeah, those are my opinions at least. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I have a lot of stuff coming soon. I have obviously the Lunar Force dyeing video. Um, I'm gonna be talking about how to dye these or how at least how I dyed these because uh, Nike hasn't released any official information about it. Um, I'll be, yeah, comment down below if you guys do want me to do like a full video on these because I do think this is an amazing shoe and I do think it's worth it. I might also pick up the level runner so I can kind of do a comparison on that. Uh, comment down below if you guys are interested in that. Um, and I will be doing um, kind of like a lookbook for fall, winter, and spring, summer 18 uh, very soon with all of my pickups. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Talk to you guys later. Peace. Yeah. Rain drop. Drop top. Smoking no cook in the hot pot. Fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Cooking the poop in the pot pot. We came from nothing to something, nigga.